hello beautiful people welcome to my channel i am happy alfred if you are new here hit the subscribe button so you can enjoy more of my posts i was going through my playlist and i noticed that i haven't done or has soup on my youtube video so i decided to make a pot of deliciousness and upload for you guys and since i tasted this new recipe i'm about to show you guys my cravings for has soup increased <laughs> So come along while I show you my pot of deliciousness. For the ingredients, I'll be using stock fish and dried fish, or her leaves. I also will be using oziza leaf. For some other people, they prefer using oziza seed. Beef and cow skin. Cocoa yam. The cocoa yam is going to thicken the soup. If not, the soup will be watery. There are other thickeners, but I prefer using cocoa yam. Okay, fish ogiri normally don't use ogiri to make my food because of the odor hmm. but the soup needs it palm oil for color and onion i'll be using this onion to boil the beef and the casking and i'll be using chili pepper instead of the normal yellow pepper they all have their special aroma especially the yellow ones but i won't be using any of those today Lastly, salt and seasoning for taste. First, I boil the cocoa yam and behind the scene, I peel off the skin and blend it. You can also pound. As far as you get the paste blended mixture. Next, I will be boiling the meat and I'm just going to add some seasoning, salt and onion. I added water, cover, and leave for it to boil. And when the meat is softened a bit, turn in my pepper mixture, blended behind the scene too. I added the smoked dried fish, already deboned, and then some more water. Using a spoon to carefully place the meat and the fish so it will cook together. As usual, I mixed ogiri with water, just a little water, so it will get dissolved. And then I turn it into the boiling mixture. I added palm oil. And I gave it a quick stir. Cover and leave it to boil for some minutes. After some time, add the crayfish. You can also use crayfish powder. Cover again. By this time, the aroma is already disturbing the neighbors. <laughs> anyway, I added the blended mixture, which is the cocoa yam. As I said, you can also pound just to make it thick and give it a paste mix together please at this moment make sure you mix very well gently turn so the cocoa yam will dissolve properly cover and cook for a little while now the food is almost ready i added the leaf which is oha leaf and oziza leaf please shred or her with hands cut oziza with knife like i earlier showed you do that some other people use oziza seeds now your pot of deliciousness is ready and the neighbors are getting already confused if they should come knock on your door or they should keep dairy the scent because this pot of deliciousness right here ha. If you follow the recipe I showed you, you have more cravings for it. Anyway, thanks guys for viewing. Subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell, and I keep bringing you awesome recipes.